Welcome back everyone to our today's video and a warm greeting to those joining us for the first time seeking insight or returning ones continuing this journey with us. I appreciate every one of you for being here. Today's topic resonates with many which is why narcissistic abuse survivors struggle to be believed. Understanding the dynamics of narcissistic abuse, why victims face disbelief. Narcissistic abuse is a complex and insidious form of manipulation that can leave lasting scars on its victims. One of the distressing aspects of this abuse is the difficulty victims often encounter when trying to share their experiences. The disbelief surrounding their accounts stems from a combination of psychological factors, societal misconceptions, and the subtle nature of narcissistic tactics. At the core of the issue lies the elusive nature of narcissistic abuse itself. Unlike physical abuse with visible wounds, Narcissistic abuse is primarily emotional and psychological. The abuser employs subtle tactics such as gaslighting, manipulation, and emotional coercion, leaving no tangible evidence for outsiders to witness. As a result, when victims try to articulate their experiences, the lack of concrete proof can lead others to doubt the severity of their claims. Furthermore, societal misconceptions about narcissism play a role in the disbelief faced by victims. The common perception of a narcissist as someone who is simply self-absorbed or confident often fails to capture the darker aspects of their behavior. Narcissistic abusers are skilled at presenting a charming facade to the outside world, making it difficult for others to reconcile the charismatic exterior with the abusive behaviors victims endure in private. This incongruence can lead to skepticism when victims attempt to disclose their experiences. Another contributing factor is the manipulation of perception by the narcissistic abuser. Gaslighting, a technique commonly employed, involves distorting the victim's reality to the point where they question their own sanity. This strategic manipulation not only undermines the victim's sense of self, but also creates an environment where others may question the validity of their experiences. The victim may appear confused or inconsistent in their narrative further complicating the task of being believed. Breaking the silence on narcissistic abuse, empowering narratives. Overcoming the disbelief faced by victims of narcissistic abuse requires a collective effort to understand the intricate dynamics at play and challenge preconceived notions. Education is a crucial component in dismantling the barriers that prevent victims from being heard and believed. Firstly, Awareness campaigns can play a pivotal role in dispelling misconceptions about narcissistic abuse. Educating the public about the subtle yet destructive tactics employed by narcissistic abusers can help create a more informed and empathetic society. By understanding that emotional and psychological abuse can be as damaging as physical abuse, people are more likely to lend a sympathetic ear to victims who come forward. Secondly, Providing support systems that validate victims' experiences is essential. Establishing safe spaces where survivors can share their stories without fear of judgment fosters a sense of community and understanding. This can counteract the isolation often felt by victims and empower them to speak out against their abusers. Lastly, professionals in various fields, including mental health, law enforcement, and the legal system, need to receive specialized training on narcissistic abuse. This ensures that those in positions to assist victims can recognize the signs, respond appropriately, and validate the experiences of survivors. Bridging this knowledge gap contributes to a more compassionate and effective response to those who disclose their experiences of narcissistic abuse. In conclusion, dispelling disbelief around narcissistic abuse requires a multifaceted approach that involves education, awareness, and support. By acknowledging the complexities of emotional and psychological abuse, society can create an environment where victims are believed, validated, and empowered to share their narratives. As we wrap up today's discussion, I want to extend my gratitude to our dedicated community. Your engagement and support make this channel thrive. If you found value in today's content, Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time, take care and stay curious.